Hello everyone, Ben Stowe here, and we've had several questions from you asking, how do these disposable mic covers work? So, any chance for me to get back in the studio and do a little science fair? Well, I'm all about it. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about are these, the uh, disposable mic covers, and this is the DMC 100. Uh, it comes in a 100 pack, and we're gonna put a link in the description for you, so you can feel free to check them out there. But for now, let's get our hands uh, quite literally dirty a little bit here. One of the things that I want to do is to demonstrate how these covers help keep water droplets out of your mic. Uh, and here we can see it on top of a mic. And of course, inside this metal windscreen, there's a foam windscreen under the mic. And so what we're doing is we're keeping those water droplets out of that. Uh, and I try to think, how would I demonstrate this? So I went back to my childhood and I've taken one of my favorite drink mixes. And I know for a fact this will change color when it gets wet. So what we're going to do, I've sprinkled some of this on this white piece of paper here, and I'm going to take a mic cover that I've cut out, so it would lay flat, and I'm gonna lay it on top here. Now, when we talk, and when we cough, and when we sneeze, and when we sing, basically anytime we open our mouth, we're expelling water droplets. Uh, there's some really great videos, if you're into this sort of thing, you can go out on the internet, uh, probably right here on YouTube, and, and there are videos of uh, like, stop motion or you know high-speed cameras where you can see the water droplets coming out of people's mouths when they uh, talk or cough or sneeze or sing and uh, and it's gross but hey that's the deal that's what we get with microphones right I'm I'm gonna do something a little more uh, sanitary we'll say so I'm gonna take some water and I'm going to uh, spray it here and we will see uh, hopefully that the mic cover does not let water droplets through but we'll see that it, it'll be in other places so Let's uh, let's let's have some singing, shall we? It's pretty pretty clear, <laughs> pretty plain. So we have substantial reduction of the water droplets that are getting through. Um, that's the purpose of these mic covers. Uh, it's a non-woven cloth, and it's very thin, and it does a pretty good job of uh, keeping those out. Now the second question a lot of you have asked is, what happens to the sound quality when I put these mic covers on? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a pink noise signal through this loudspeaker, and we're gonna measure it using the smart software, and we're gonna take those measurements both with a microphone without the cover, and then the exact same mic at the exact same levels with the cover. Um, and I would expect this is gonna be pretty translatable to any microphone, but for our demonstration, we're gonna use probably the most common dynamic microphone in the world. Uh, without a doubt, I would say the most used microphone anywhere. Uh, so now, we're gonna just use RTA measurements for this, and I can layer those over the top so you can see any difference. Some of you might be asking, why don't you just use a transfer function? And the answer is pretty simple, because I'm only gonna use one microphone, and I don't wanna to have to try to set up a reference and that sort of thing, uh, and besides, if you know what a transfer function is, you can work with the RTA just fine. For most people, I think it's going to be a lot easier to look at the layered RTAs and just say, ah, okay, there we go. So to all my super nerds who want the transfer function, uh, we'll do another video maybe later for you. So uh, with that being said, let's play some, uh, some pink noise. We're not really expecting to see a flat signal on the microphone, by the way, because this speaker is very close to the wall. We're going to have all kinds of you know, weird things happening, and that's okay. What we're really looking for is the difference without the cover and with the cover, and nothing else really matters at this point. So, let's make some noise. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the pink noise, and I'm gonna push the button and then step out of the way, and we're gonna take an averaged uh, measurement of about one second, and I'm gonna make sure I'm not in the way of the speaker because I don't want anything to affect the integrity of the measurement here. So, let's rock. So there we've captured our first shot, no cover. And now we'll take our disposable mic cover and we will just slip it right on real quick and let's take our second measurement. And here we can see uh, cover and no cover. And we should see any differences up here, here. And as expected, they're very negligible. 
very, very negligible. Uh, I sincerely doubt that even on a great system with a great preamp and a great engineer that, that you would really hear this. Uh, very minor differences. So there's your questions answered. How do they work and how do they affect the sound? If you have more questions, please feel free to send us a message. And as always, thanks for watching.